Today's HealthCast, we turn our focus to a condition that can affect a child's ability to learn and function. Local 10 medical specialist Christy Kruger takes a closer look at a skull deformity that doesn't allow the brain to grow properly and what doctors can do to correct it. When their first baby Ellis was born last year, Abby and Peter Obrey didn't really notice the slight ridge on the front of his skull. We were absolutely oblivious. Um, obviously, like many new parents are, their you know, baby's perfect. Um, but looking back, um, it was actually obvious from the day he was born that he had the ridge. We just, we just weren't aware of it. At the urging of a friend, they went to their pediatrician, who referred them on to a specialist. That's when Ellis was diagnosed with a rare condition called metopic craniosynostenosis. That's where the bones in the skull fuse together. I received the call about it. It was probably the worst phone call of my life. Um, and you know, it was really scary. You just don't know what's to come. You don't know what's gonna happen. In February, Ellis underwent a procedure at Nicholas Children's Hospital to correct the condition. The way the operation is done is we make an incision and we find the bones that are fused and we release the bones that are fused. Pediatric plastic surgeon, Dr. Chad Perlin says it's not as simple as it sounds. We literally take the eye sockets and the forehead and part of the skull off reshape it and then put it all back together with plates and screws like a carpenter would would build a piece of furniture. Within three days of surgery, Ellis was sitting up in bed laughing. You're funny. <laughs> yeah, that's a good boy. The six hour procedure left him with 67 stitches, but the scar is the only reminder of what he went through. People told us you know, you'll, you'll be surprised at how, you know, resilient they are. We didn't know how fast he'd recover or how well he'd recover. He's just, he, we're in awe of him. Well, ideally, the surgery really should be performed around the first year of life before the brain begins to outgrow the skull. Interestingly enough, the plates and screws used to reshape that skull, like hard candy, they're going to dissolve over time. With your HealthCast, I'm Christy Krueger.